probably on that side of the island. Um, and while we're waiting, we're going to beat this down. So again, the hard stone, I could craft a, uh, I could craft a pick with that. Maybe I'll do that just to check one out because I haven't actually used a pick yet. And again, if you get in the game, and you should, and I should link it, or if one of the mods can link it, that'd be awesome. Um, the site to the game. Oh, here we go. Uh, but if you get uh, the game, then on your starter island, there is a pick hidden somewhere. So you'll want to find that. I did not. I just left. I mean, I wanted to find it. I just didn't know about it, really. That's an island over there. I was like, that land goes on forever. All right, we have a mission. Our mission is find spider. Our secondary mission is avoid pirates. And anything else that happens is just icing on the cake of exploration. All right, so let's see, what else should I tell you about the game? Uh, there's been a lot of updates. Uh, you can find a lot of information about it on the Reddit. Um, have y'all been on a Reddit? Oh, good. So, plant fire. So, here you go. Um, this is bamboo. When you walk through bamboo, every once in a while, you'll get an exceptional bamboo rod or exceptional piece of bamboo. Um, so, it's just kind of rare. You don't have to do anything active just other than kind of walk through it. I want to be careful. I don't want to go too close to the pirates. I know they're somewhere up here. Actually, let's see how far away I am. So, they're that way, I think. I actually don't remember at all. Oh, there's Volcano Island. So they gotta be this way. Yes, if you haven't, thank you Aztec for linking it. If you haven't voted in Steam Greenlight, you should totally do that too. Ah, there we go, an exceptional stem of bamboo. Now, bamboo is awesome, and one thing to know is if you get enough of it, you can actually use the bamboo to make cloth. And a cloth is one of those early gating items that stop you from getting your next boat. Um, the hardwood logs being the other. So even if you don't find pirates, if you get enough bamboo, you can make all of the cloth you need uh, to to make that happen. So that's just something to note. Bamboo can turn into cloth. All right. Um, but anyway, so there's a lot of updates. You can find out about the game uh, on Reddit. Uh, you can vote. Oh, Chance, yeah. Chance and I have been playing a lot of Destiny. And uh, there's a crafting material in that game. And there's a, there's a run that you can do. You can get a ton of that crafting material. It's fantastic. All right. Um, let's see here. So that's that's actually one of my other games. The other day on Twitter, I was asking folks who follow, I was like, what are your games right now? What are you playing? And I asked, I think, people to say their top five. And what was fun for me is uh, two of my top five I've just been playing for about two weeks. So it's, it's been fantastic. It's new stuff. And they have taken over my normal game cycle. Ah! What the hell is that? That was a deer. It's okay. We're safe. <laughs> I told you, I don't do jump games. Okay. Whew. It's more scared of you than you are of it. Uh, <laughs> anyways, I just got distracted. So yeah, top five games right now. Um, probably number five, that's the one I play quite a bit but not uh, haven't played this week, is Diablo. Diablo 3, still love that game. Uh, I am like 20 levels away from having a max level tune of every class, so play the heck out of that one. That's my fun listen to podcast game, or it was. Uh, then comes Seven Days to Die. Uh, I am a sucker for multiplayer survival games. I'm a sucker for survival games, as you'll probably get the trend. After that is Minecraft. I'm back in vanilla Minecraft again. Uh, so, you know, uh, I'm intrigued to see how Microcraft works uh, with the sale and the changes. I actually don't think it'll be a problem. That's a conversation for another time, or maybe later tonight. Uh, after that is Destiny. Uh, and I am not an FPS type of guy, but man, I love... Yeah, scared deer, scared you. Uh, I love Destiny. Oh my gosh. I am having a blast that game. And then uh, number one, Salt. Really, really enjoying it. It, it. This caught me quick, and it caught me hard. I was like, okay, I'll just check it out. Um, and if you've watched my videos, or you watch YouTube, or any of my stream, many, many, many of the games I end up loving um, are because of Paul Sores Jr. So I have to give a huge shout out to him, because he's the one who started doing videos on it, and I was like, yep, that's gonna work. Um, so because of Paul, I picked this up. Uh, so, yeah. So we're playing Salt. I've been doing a uh, YouTube series. This will actually, for those of you listening to it in the future, hello future people, this will be exported to YouTube, you know, either in chunks or as one long, long video, because uh, I'm guessing I'm going to be streaming for a while tonight. Um, 
but yeah, this is something I've been doing on YouTube. So if you want to see the first four episodes, there's about an hour of content already up there. And you can see kind of how I started uh, with the game. Ah, crud. How's blocking work? I've not tried blocking it. Oh. What? Where's he going? Okay, blocking is about timing. Okay. I just gotta be a better fighter. Cloth, gold, and some axes. Beautiful. Alright, so we're near the pirates. You know, I was trying to... What the hell was that? Okay. Um... If I remember, someone said that when Moon Rock spawns, it sounds like a lady crying. Um, and that's what I think I just heard. I... Yes, Chance, you absolutely do need to hop on KI. Um, I... Whoa, did you all hear that? That was scary. Well... That was actually kind of really scary. Anyway, but yeah, so this is the this is my current game of choice, and I'm uh, really enjoying it. I've not had a crit of 11 before. That was a pretty big crit there. All right, so we got to find. I think we got to find some moon rock. I think that's what that sound was. Also, where'd that pirate come from? Also, also, where are the spiders? <laughs> Lots of alsos. Yeah, you heard it too? Yeah, that was creepy. I like it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the beauty of a, a, a well-designed and fun game is uh, people will be like, oh, you know, you need super realistic, photorealistic graphics, or oh, you need, you know, uber gore uh, to make things scary. You can have a beautiful kind of cartoony, cell shady game that can evoke those same types of feelings. Now this, again, is much more of a relaxing type of game, I think. Um, so I think that's going to be, in the grand scheme of things, the feel of it, right now at least. Uh, but the combat, it does add something. You know, you gotta... It does add something. Now I'm wondering, is that a different island? I'm just seeing it from far away, or is that... that their base? Let's just slowly walk towards this campfire. Okay. There it was again. Now it's just something that's screwing with me. What? is going on. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, Aztec. Yeah, that's something, you know, this is right now a single player um, and they're working on creating the uh, a really excellent single player experience. And I think that's actually a really good idea. Um, you know, you have to, when you, you think of games like this and when you're designing games, you have to think of Oh, is that another white deer? I'm not gonna be able to catch up. I don't have enough sprint to do that. I sh sh oh, hello. Oh, but the pirates go after it. Ha ha, I figured out. Oh, I thought I figured out the pattern. I did not. Just some gold. All right, let's save. It has, it's been a while. Um. I can't say while in combat. Am I still in combat? You don't know me. Can I save now? There we go. Uh, but yeah, so when when you're designing these games, you have to keep in mind the hooks. If you want to go multiplayer, you have to keep that in mind, uh, so that way you don't have to rewrite everything. But you know, netcode is a pain, and it's not for. Uh, it doesn't have to be every game doesn't do multiplayer, but this one does feel like man, it would be a lot of fun to be on a boat with my friends. You know, it'd be really cool to have a boat so big that it involves using the steering wheel, but also maybe someone has to do something with the sails to, to make it interactive. The problem is, when you start thinking that way, is you sometimes have to give things up so you're not doing uh, the best single player experience. And so it is a challenge to do both. Um, and I actually am really excited that they're working on the best single player game possible first. Um, because I think that is a great call and it's going to be a stronger game in the end. But yeah, just like you are saying, Chance, it would be cool to have uh, multi-person crewed ships. Uh, it would be kind of awesome. Alright, so I'm seeing lots of stone. Uh, we're getting some good um, materials. 
Still haven't found a spider yet. I really want to be able to make a fishing rod. You know, I also haven't found a um, merchant yet, now that I think about it. So we're going to want to find one of them, too, because I'm getting lots of gold. I've uh, murdered, I mean, borrowed it from a lot of pirates. And um, I'm sure that the merchant can sell me some cool stuff. Maybe even just sell me the fishing rod outright. Although, I mean, I don't know. I wonder what I can get for this rubies. Hopefully, hopefully we'll figure that out. Got my sword ready. Now we're kind of working our way through the night. I think what I'll do is I'll keep exploring through the evening here and then in future nights. Hey, we'll catch you later, Chance. Have a good evening. Yeah, it's late in your neck of the woods. 1230. It's only 930 here in sunny Arizona. So the night is young for me. And that is exciting. All right. Take out the boulder. Get my crits. I kind of want to be able to make a drum now. Um, but other things that are coming, we're going to be able to build houses, so that's going to be cool. Um, you know, I'm just thinking now, I'm so glad I have my sextant because I'd be able to find a house later. What is this? Still weak boulders. The hitbox sometimes is a little wonky. There we go. Okay, that awful noise is still happening. I haven't found anything. Maybe it's the pirates just screwing with me. I don't know what I expected. I don't know if I expected it to be like glowing. Alright, we'll go into the woods. Into the woods, it's time to go. Um, I should probably have my sword out in case something creepy comes out for me. Oh, gosh. I think I got, a, I got a tweet there or something. What just happened? Oh, thanks for the tweet, Chance. Alright, tweet in the stream. I'll put this up here so it's not so loud next time. Alright, let us keep exploring. We're looking for a rabbit-sized spider, which now that I think about it, is a perfectly terrifying size because... What's that? It's like light up there. Oh, it's moon. That's why it's so dark. We don't have a... We don't have a full moon. A few nights ago had a full moon. I have no idea what the moon cycle is. Uh, like what the length is on, uh, on moons, but... It's been two or three nights in the game. We're half, so... Maybe it's on a 12-day cycle. Maybe it's on a 8-day cycle. I don't know. Alright, so let's see. I haven't found anything special. I never did actually get to that, um, that was a uh, stone? That's a log. I never did get over to, back to the pirate village. So what I think we're going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to make myself a nice little campfire and we're going to sleep away the rest of the night. And then we're going to go and explore a little bit more where it's a little brighter and we can see some more. Yeah. All right. Open the crafting window. Two hardwood logs away from our fancy... Uh, oh, we can make three things now. What is it? Oh, short sword. Short sword? Hmm. Oh, weird. It's, it's counting flintstone as stone now. That's interesting. I don't remember doing that before. Yeah. I probably never had enough flint. That's probably why. All right, so where did I put my campfire? It's under the consumables tab. There we go. I suppose we can rotate it. Oh, perfect. <laughs> there we go. We'll rest five hours, and it's a nice, bright, sunshiny day. And we're saved. Beautiful. Uh, that looks like a different type of stone, so we're going to go knock that out, and then uh, we're going to hop on our boat. Now, maybe we'll go back to the pirate village and see if we see anything else. I swear, it was like some sort of orangey stone. Ah, uh, just one of the rich boulders. That's okay. We'll, we'll do it, right? Fifteen day. Okay. Excellent. Fifteen day. Night cycle. So now I'm wondering, maybe spiders come out at night. So these are things you get to discover. I love it. And I'm beating the rich boulder. I'm going to make that pick now, because I'm curious to see how much better it is. So to make a pick, uh, I believe it's just some sticks and some hardstone ore. One and one. Okay. Oh, nope. Helps if you actually make the thing you're trying to make, not just look at it. And craft. Beautiful. And so we're going to add that. We're going to make that a seven. So next one we come across, we'll uh, try the pick on it and see how that works. Oh, oh, hello. 
Oh, it's locked. 